Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite. I live in Mount Village, Colorado. This is about the war on terror and how it can be won. First of all, it will not be won through uh, sending more American troops to the region in Afghanistan. It will not be won by bullets, guns, bombs, uh, or any kind of violence. There is, it, it cannot be won that way. The reason, the only way it can be won is to defeat what Al-Qaeda is preaching and to defeat what their, their lies, to expose their lies and then defeat it. And that can only be done through uh, diplomacy, you might say. Or through a word of words. <clears throat> Let me put it that way. It has to be defeated with words and with the truth. The only way to win the war on terror is to show to show the world, primarily the Muslims around the world, these billionaires of, that he's a fraud, a phony, and a coward, and that what he preaches is a lie. One thing that people like Osama bin Laden don't respect or understand is something called the free will. God gives us a free will to worship him as we please, or not to worship him at all. And of course we have to suffer the consequences if we don't do it the right way, of course. Oba Osama bin Laden does not believe in a free will, nor do his radical thugs. They believe that you have to force everything on everyone. You they believe that even if you're you don't you're not a Muslim at heart, you still must outwardly be a Muslim. Well, if God is all knowing, then he knows man's heart, and he knows who truly believes and who truly does not. Does Osama bin Laden believe that God does not know who truly believes, let's say, in their Muslim religion, and he does not? Do they really want an outward appearance of, of a person being a uh, Muslim, rather than being a true Muslim from within, as we do in the Christian faith? Because in the Christian faith, if you're not truly really a Christian from within, your heart is not right, you have been born again, you're just wasting your time to church every day for a hundred years. It makes no difference, you're still going to hell. Then, of course, I won't get into the concept about whether hell is real or not right now. But nonetheless, they do not believe in a free will. Part of the war on terror must, must be a war in which we teach the Muslims about the concept of a free will. We must take them on to explain and to, and to them that without a free will, everything is vain. Do you... This is what Osama bin Laden is trying to do. He's trying, he's trying to take away our right to have a free will. Without that free will, life is vain. Religion is vain. Believing in God is vain. It, you must come to God of your own free will. That's the starting point of this war of words against Osama bin Laden and the Muslims per se. This has not been fought. This has not been discussed. And this is just one point, one little area. Osama bin Laden can only be defeated if he can be shown to be the coward and liar that he really is. The concept that you're going to get 70 virgins if you kill a Jew or an American or a Brit, British or an Australian, it's, it's got to be defeated. The whole concept of forcing the Muslim religion on the rest of the world must be defeated. And that means, unfortunately, we in America here will have to take on the, uh, the Saudi government and the Saudi religious police and a lot of these people that are uh, preaching this garbage to the rest of the world. We must also defeat the concept that God calls, has called upon Osama bin Laden and his thugs, or demons in the flesh, to kill anyone who doesn't believe as they do. Of course, a lot of that came from uh, the Quran. Uh, Muhammad. But did God really need us to kill other people? He might have done that in the Old Testament, but not in the New Testament. Not in the modern times. Uh, and where does where do they get that idea that somehow they are ordained by God, I mean, commissioned by God to kill the innocent, to get to what they consider to be the guilty? Who made them masters of life and death? Do you see where I'm going at here? I don't have much time here, so I, I can't go into the entire subject here. But I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say is that you cannot win this war with guns and bullets and bombs and planes and, and arms. You have to defeat what Osama bin Laden and his thugs have 
are preaching and teaching, and including the Saudi government and the Saudi uh, religious leaders, and to prove them and show the rest of the Muslims in the Islamic world that they are false. We need to show them that they are they have taken the Muslim religion and turned it in, uh, turned it into a religion of hate and murder. God is not a God of hate. God is a God of love. And what about the Jews? What? Did God make a mistake? Is he so stupid that he made the Jews so he needs the Muslims to come in and wipe them all off the earth? Then that means God is not infallible. That means he makes mistakes. And that's what Osama bin Laden and his thugs are saying. That's what the Catholic Church wants to say. And that's what the Christian crusade, part of the Christian Crusade was about. It was saying that God made a mistake. We need to get rid of the Jews. Well, God doesn't make mistakes. We make mistakes. I make mistakes every day. But God does not. And that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to point, tell you that in order to win this war, it has to be done in a di diplomatic way. It has to be done in words and in truth and in evidence and in proof. And so that the rest of the Muslims around the world can get the message that this is not the way to fight the war. If all the Muslims of the world turned against Osama bin Laden, the war's going to pretty much come to an end. The second part to win the war is very is very simple, and it does involve bullets and guns, even though I still don't think this is going to win it. All we can do is slow it down. And that is, we have to send military force into uh, Pakistan. And Pakistan has sent troops up from the south into Afghanistan and go in there and get into the region where Osama bin Laden and his thugs are hiding and kill them. There's no other way. Or take them hostage or whatever. Prisoner or whatever. But that's just going to be temporary. That's still not, that's just not going to win it. So if you're looking for a military victory, that's about the closest you're going to get. But you're still going to have Al Qaeda spread out all over the world. So you can't really win it that way. But if you want to get Osama bin Laden, you need to go in the region to get him or you pull the Jews home and bring them all home because it's just a waste of time. We're just letting people die for no reason. And But the only way to really win this war is you have to defeat what they are preaching and teaching. There is no other way. And that's going to take some really good experts and that's going to take all of the American media, all of the world media, coming down and discussing this rationally. But they've got to defeat it this way. And all the Muslims of the world need to hear this message and they need to be convinced that Osama bin Laden is a liar, a coward, a thief, and a murderer. And he is not a god, he does Satan. There is no other way to do it. Thank you for your time, and I may have to make a second video to get my message across here, I don't know yet. But if you want to win this war, it cannot be done through, through weapons, through violence. It has to be done through the truth.